today I decided to do like a little story time segment. I'm going to be doing them from time to time. Just little personal stories about me. And today I was going to do a personal story on my first ever C-section ever in life. So the reason why I came up with this scenario was I actually have two friends right now that are pregnant. I have one. She's having a boy. She's due, I want to say in May. And then I have another friend that's also found out she's pregnant like literally like two weeks ago. So I guess it's like baby season. Not for me. I'm glad, thankfully. Yes. But I remember my um second friend, she's had um C sections before. And I was telling her, like, hey, you need to like do a baby vlog. She's never done that before. So I was like, you need to do a baby vlog. Because there has been times when I was pregnant. Um, I wanted to watch videos about other women experiences. The main one was C-sections. I have four daughters. My oldest is 13, Peyton. Then we got Jordan. She's 10. Carter is 7. And Erin is 4. Of course, my youngest is the C-section baby. And I was scared out my head when I found out I was about to have a C-section. The other three were natural childbirths. They were easy. I will say this, with every child, it seemed like it was more painful. You would think that my first birth would have been easy. Like the e the hardest one, because this was my first birth, sorry. You would have thought my first one would have been the hardest because this was my first. No, it's like every child I've had was worse. Like each one was more painful. It, the labor lasted longer, literally with each child. And Aaron ended up being the C-section baby. Yes, she was. So, how I found out I was having a C-section, um, my husband, Shannon, at the time was in Afghanistan. He had been in Afghanistan from the time I was five weeks pregnant up until two weeks after Aaron was born. And I was going to send him like a little care package or whatever. So, I wanted to take some pictures, get the little 3D, 4D pictures. I went one week to get them. I think I was like 36 weeks pregnant. I went got the pictures she didn't want to show her face she just kept hiding and they were like well you know just come back next week we'll do it again came back the next week the lady was like she wasn't pointing that direction before and that's when we found out that child had literally just how at 36 weeks how do you go from being down like you're supposed to be at 36 weeks and at 37 you're like let me flip back up. And she did. And I went to the doctor like that same week. And I was like, do you think that she's going to go down? Like flip again? And he was like, no. I was like, I got faith. And he was like, you got all the faith you can. She is not going nowhere. She is stuck where she is until whenever you give birth or whatever. So I ended up having a schedule of C-section at 39 weeks. I was scared out of my mind. For one, I was living by myself, pregnant. My older three kids at the time was living with their dad because he was helping me out because it was just me. And my husband was going to Afghanistan. And he was like, I know you're pregnant. I want to like leave all this on you. So how about this? I'll take the girls. You know, once your husband comes back, everybody can be a happy family again. So that really helped me out. All I had to do is pretty much just worry about myself, work, and pay bills. That's all I did. So this was the kicker. It was my first C-section and I was living in North Carolina. Yeah, I had been living there for like five years, but everybody that was close to me, like family, had either... PCS um went to another state or whatever or some people got out of the military and moved some of my friends that literally weren't even in military life just moved so everybody I knew when I first got to North Carolina moved so I really didn't know I had one best friend my friend Linda she was there but she couldn't come with me on my c-section because she had to work like I'm still mad about that but anyway she ended up having to work or whatever so she couldn't so I had just got this new job at this call center and I had to ask. Her name was Courtney. I had to ask her. We only haven't known each other for months, like probably what, six months? And I asked her, would you please take me to the hospital at like four o'clock in the morning for my C-section? And she was like, yes, cool. 
she was literally a blessing in my life because you know in the military world your family is not around your friends are your family she, and she didn't even know me she had only been knowing me for like six months didn't know my children didn't know my husband nobody and she actually took the time of her life to take off from work to drive me to the hospital at four o'clock in the morning she stayed there with me put on like her little suit and everything um we got there around like what 14 4 15 um they put me on my gown they was talking about shaving me but i had already did it the night before because i wasn't playing no games so i had already shaved and everything they were like oh you prepped yes i was i was already prepped and we go to the room or whatever and they started giving me my epidural. I remind you, I've never had an epidural before. Yes, I've had three children naturally, but I've never had an epidural before. So I was scared. I was crying like a mug. It did not hurt. It felt weird. Felt a pinch, but it did not hurt. Thank God for that nurse that was there to talk me, talk to me. She was like, you know, holding me so I wouldn't move, but she was talking to me telling me about her similar story about when she had to have a c-section and also had to get the epidural so that literally helped me out a whole lot so um i got the epidural they laid me down and everything um everybody's around me my friend courtney she's right here beside me while um you know they're doing everything they have like this uh cover so you can't see nothing and I was like, I'm nervous as hell. They got this cover. What's going to happen? I'm scared. The room is cold as shit. Oh, my God. I was nervous. Um, It was crazy. A key thing, I remember my nose started itching, and I wanted to scratch it. And my damn arm was, like, strapped to the bed. So, they had one arm, like, strapped that I couldn't move. So, I could only move just this one arm. And I was like, oh, man, I feel like like I'm being, like, taken hostage or something. I was scared as shit. So, when they started, you know, cutting or whatever, what I loved about my doctor, his name um, was Dr. Davis. Yes, Dr. Davis. He was talking to me. You know, asking me with my husband, like, how he's doing in Afghanistan. Basically distracting me. I needed that distracting because I was scared as hell. And they cut, and I didn't feel it. It literally feels, for all the people who never had a C-section, will know how it feels. It felt like you get your hand and somebody does this. It doesn't hurt or nothing. You just feel this. Now, I will say you do feel like tugging, like somebody, like something is moving around in your belly when they trying to, like, cut. And do everything you do feel well not cut but when they're like pulling everything apart you do feel a lot of tugging yes it didn't take that long everybody was talking to me i wasn't really thinking about it because i was into the conversation trying to shake myself from um they got my body wide open and next my beautiful erin came out one of the nurses like jumped with me because i was like you know what she looks like and she was like she a little chocolate baby so i'm thinking like she's my skin color she came out like light bright damn near white yes she did but she was just the most beautiful little thing i had ever seen um the next crazy part was um they was cleaning her off or whatever and my friend um you know was holding her while they like you know stacking me up get me back together uh, they ended up taking the door off. I, I can't walk, can't move. Everything is like dead down here. So they pick me up, put me on the, um, I want to say gurney, bed, yeah, whatever. Put me on that and roll me to the recovery room. I did not want my baby. I, that door is like, soon as I got to the bed and they rolled me to the recovery room, I felt like, I felt like somebody had stabbed my insides i really did it was like the c-section you would think the c-section part would have scared me uh, but i was calm because i actually had a good anesthesiologist i had a good doctor the nurses they was talking to me they distracted me so and it wasn't painful it was the recovery that got me I was in so much pain. I was crying. They were like, you want to hold the baby? I was like, I do not want to hold no baby. I've never cried. I've given, I've been in labor for hours in pain. I do not take pain medicine when I'm in labor. I can't, I have a high tolerance for pain. 
Never cried after pushing out three children. I cried this time. Cried. And a doctor ended up giving me, I think, like some morphine or something. Some kind of pain medicine gave me. But it helped, like, instantly. Once he, they did that and they wheeled me to my room, I was happy. To hold my baby, like, with no problem. I was happy. Um, The healing process. Um, Like, after I had her, I was cool until they were like, it's time for you to walk. Because when you first, the first day, you know, you have the baby, they roll you to the room. They got these compression pads or whatever they put on your legs. And they, like, squeeze your legs a few minutes just to keep your circulation going. Um, I was getting, I think, Percocet for, like, pain medicine or whatever to manage, like, the afterbirth pains and all that. And, of course, I had a C-section so that it did hurt to, like, cough, sneeze, laugh. I had hello, hello gas. Oh my God, it hurt so freaking bad. But I was good. I could handle it. I got it. The next thing was you have to learn how to walk. Well, not learn how to walk, but you have to walk. Because it's a true fact, if you do not, after C section, if you don't move around, you get stiff and it hurts so bad. It's better to just walk around slowly because they made me walk around the hospital with her. So that's what I had to do. I had to walk around the hospital with her and push her. And that, as you walk, it hurts, but it doesn't hurt as bad as you sitting in one spot. And then you got to get up and go pee or something. That crap hurts hella bad. So we ended up getting through that or whatever. Um... And I think I stayed in the hospital for like five days because my blood pressure was high as hell. But it ended up going down. And uh, let's see. That was about it. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was scary. I was scared. I was nervous. But I had good doctors, good nurse. I had great friends. And now I have my four-year-old Aaron. Would I have it? A C-section again if I had to. Yes, I will. I'm even contemplating about having another kid in the future. My husband's like, "Nah, we got my girls. What ain't no more? We're good." But I'm like, "No, I got I got one for one more." But yes, that is my small C-section story. Hope you guys enjoy, and I hope it can help somebody else to keep them to. I know anybody who's having their first C-section, they're nervous as hell. But I'm here to tell you, it's not as bad as you think it is. I promise. It just seems that way because you get cut open. But I promise it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching.